Hi guys and welcome to another video. So this top the topic of this video is deep fakes, which is a new technology that just came out. It's a technology based on deep learning. Okay, it's used deep learning for creating or generating faces of people. Okay. So the Reddit user under the name Deepfake just released uh, some tutorial about how to train neural networks to generate faces. Okay, so it's just a way to kind of uh, face swap a person's face okay and another guy under the name fake app just released a software a program and uh, that kind of turn uh, the whole thing of training uh, these models to generate this kind of um, videos a way more easier okay so uh, you could check uh, the, the topic on the reddit it has became huge. I think there are almost 70,000 uh, readers already. So after the Philip DeFranco video, the, the thing it became huge. Before that, it was kind of, uh, I don't know, it was not that popular to them. So uh, I'm just going to talk about the whole thing, how I think it works. I'm, I don't know exactly how it works I think they are using uh, of course uh, tensorflow to train the motors but I don't have any uh, I didn't get any any further knowledge on how it works um, so I've, I've, I've read some people talking about uh, using uh, generative adversarial neural networks to improve the results but uh, you could check the the repository on GitHub. One guy just make a great tutorial on how to use generative generative adversarial neural network. Sorry, I'm kind of uh, tired now. Wait, right? let's get to the point. So these things are great for generating graphics. I think Hollywood will be using this. Uh, very often by now I think they just had discovered have discovered a great technology just to uh, to bring actors that die to the screen okay so I'm hoping someone could try this experiment on the Paul Walker faces Paul Walker's face uh, they already did on the Princess Leia, so you could check uh, right now, you can, as you can see on your screen, this is the output or this is the result with this technology applied on the Princess Leia's, Princess Leia's faces, faces actually. So the whole point of this technology is kind of controversial, I would say that, because there are some controversial topics around this some people may argue that this is a violation of the law or something like that because you are faking a person acting in some scenes that they that can be demeaning to them so this is kind of mess up and probably the last the in the following months, this technology can be uh, improved by a lot. I mean, when this technology use a better model, they could discover ways to increase the accuracy, and maybe people will be used to to uh, kind of compile data, I guess, because. The whole thing about this technology is that you need to have a lot of data to train the model. So people now are going to collect data just to make, uh, to replicate someone's faces, such as we've seen examples of Gal Gadot, Taylor Swift, uh, Emma Stone, Emma Watson, uh, let me see, Maze Wagen. So yeah, that's the whole thing is huge now. I guess in the following months we are you're going to see we're gonna see more and more of this out there. So 
I guess it kind of brings our wrong attention to the deep learning community because usually people are trying to make uh, I don't know something more productive this technology is uh, very productive if you use it in the right way I, I mean we can produce uh, special effects which are low budget budget we can apply this to apply some uh, special effect because it's uh, very simple we just need more data and uh, more uh, I think a better model to train better models because the cur current mo uh, program which is fake app which is the UI interface stuff which uh, you can just click and turn some parameters and click start and the whole thing start training to train this model so the Google uh, video which was re which was released I think back in December was kind of controversial at that at that time but now things got mad and massive because of the usage the massive usage in adult content adult content lately so that's it folks i think that's the video i hope you like it you could check my other videos which i i talk about deep learning so that's it and see you later